Bantamweight world titles are on the line as is the distinction in the pound for pound list and the ring mag Introducing first out of the blue corner he weighed in at 117.9 pounds wearing black trunks with gold trim he brings a record of 21 wins only one defeat 18 victories coming by way of knockout he is a former world title challenger from Melbourne Australia Jason Mayhem Maloney! Across the ring in the red corner, presented in association with Taken Promotions and Ohashi Promotion, he weighed in at 117.7 pounds, wearing gold trunks with black and white trim. He brings a perfect record, 19 wins, no defeats, 16 of those victories coming by way of knockout. The former light flyweight world champion, the former junior bantamweight world champion, the reigning, defending WBA, IBF, Ring Magazine, unified bantamweight world champion from Yokohama, Japan, Naoya Monster! The world titles are on the line at 118 pounds. They have two common opponents. Emmanuel Rodriguez, who was stopped by Inoue in the second round after he won a split decision against Jason Maloney seven months before. And he was not the only common opponent that they had. First bell here, top ranked boxing on ESPN for the unified Bantamweight World Championship. Bernardo Osuna alongside Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward. And Dre, early on, what are you looking for? Well, Maloney's got to come in here and get some respect. He's got to do it in a smart way, though, because NOA can put your lights out in a half a second. So he's got to come behind his jab. He's got to pick his shots very smartly, but he's got to let NOA know that he's there. And NOA just needs to be who he is, be explosive, be fast, be quick. Don't try to overpower Maloney. Well, you see that, that uppercut right there? Just be yourself, and the knockout may come. Maloney better hold that phone up, hold that right hand up, because I see a left hook coming in there. I mean, the tension in the building, you can cut it with a knife, because anytime you have an explosive puncher like Naoya Inoue, who's capable of landing either hand and putting you to sleep, you have to be on high alert. But it's tough, Bernardo, because you got a guy that's not just powerful, but he's quick and he's fast. Nice jab to the body from the monster. Inoue has so many tools, so many weapons, so many ways to beat you. And Maloney says he's also got some weaknesses that Nonito Donaire exposed. Nice right counter hand. right from Inoue after Maloney lands a shot of his own. Yeah, that's one of the strengths of Inoue is, is that his ability when he's offensive, then defensive, then back offensive, you know, and He's able to time fighters like that. Oh, nice jab from Maloney, but right hand over the top from Minoway. Watch the hole. Beautiful counter. Everybody has a plan, as Mike Tyson said, until he gets hit in the face. That's yet to happen here in a shot that changes the way the fight goes on. But both guys showing some respect, but trying to find those keys. Yeah, you can tell Maloney is processing the speed of Inoue right now. He, he, I don't think he realized how quick and how fast a foot and hand that Inoue was. He closes that gap quick, Inoue. And he's not there when Maloney tries to punch. Inoue lunges right there. That's one of the few mistakes that he does make, leaving himself exposed and doesn't get off the line. But Maloney said, I've got to be quick enough, i got to be smart enough, and i got to be strong enough to make him pay as he takes another Inoue jab right in the face. Oh, nice, nice body, body shot from Maloney. That's the work right there in the inside that Maloney has to do. But he has to be cautious because he can get caught in between if he gets a little wide with his punches. Nice counter right there. No, but he could shoot And use your body shots. 
Go with the lead. Team trainer of the year in Japan with excellent instructions for Naoya Inoue as we go into round two of this scheduled 12 rounder and Inoue comes out shooting that left. <laughs> A lead left hook. Quick and strong and strong. You know, even though it's the beginning of the second round, I guarantee you right now that Maloney is in his head and he's trying to process some things. He's trying to even find his, you know, ability to reinforce why he's here and what he has to do to get the job done. Because when you've heard about a guy, when you've sat ringside at his fights, when you've watched him on television, but then you get in there and you experience everything that you heard and you realize that, yo, it was true. That's tough to deal with. You got you to gotta switch your mind back and remind yourself why you're here. It's also true that it's been 359 days since Inoue was last in the ring against Nonito Donaire, a fight where he suffered a fractured right orbital bone early in the fight in round two. And he was able to overcome double vision throughout the fight to win a 12-round unanimous decision. Answered a lot of questions about himself. But those are some questions, Tim, that Maloney wants to ask of him tonight as well. Of course, but Maloney needs to get close enough to be able to land those shots. You know, in a way, it's getting in and out of range quickly. He has quick feet. He closes the gap quick with you, quick on you. And he explodes with every single punch. So it's dangerous. You second guess it. Oh, man, There's nice a right body hand. shot. You've been an opponent. You second guess yourself every time you throw a shot because you don't want to get hit. Maloney can't live out there, guys. He can't live on the outside like that. He's a good boxer, but in a way is a better boxer. He's fast, but in a way is faster. He's got fast twitch muscles, but but in a ways fast twitch muscles are, are even more than you know than what Maloney's is. So Maloney has to get mid range and in close, start to work that body, start to try to land those short uppercuts and left hooks if he's going to have a shot to win some rounds in this fight and hopefully win. We always talk about range, Tim, and the dog oh. camera's showing you wow. just that. Did you see how it, how Inouye came in and then faded out real quick and made the right hand of Maloney with, uh, miss? Maloney was trying to get out of the way and throw a right hand all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to process in just one millisecond. I'm letting you know as know what it is right now. It's the speed. It's the speed of in a way that's giving them problems. Yes, the power is there, but the speed, foot speed, hand speed. And a lot of times you talk about speed generates power. Here it's speed and power. And power. It's different. It's a special combination. You see it with guys like Tiafimo Lopez. You see it with guys like Manny Pacquiao. Mm. There's that left hook from... Now, yeah, in, in a way here to close out the second round. Oh, nice Boom. When you got your distance, put it on the right hand. Yeah. You're reading his distance well. Okay, you're going to pick this one off. This is the cruelest of sports, so when Angelo Hyder says flick it in the eye, you know exactly what he's talking about after what Nonito Donaire did. Yeah, that's what time it is. I mean, there's no mercy in this sport. This is the fight game. It's the hurt business, whatever type of moniker you want to use. I mean, these guys are, are trying to hurt each other, not permanently, but they got a job to do tonight. For 12 rounds tonight, they really do want to hurt each other. And Maloney here keeping up with Inoue in terms of punches thrown, but he's more than 2-1. to one down in terms of punches landed to Naoya Inoue. That's got to change if he's going to win. Well, he's letting Inoue dictate the pace right now. You see all the bouncing coming from Maloney. I told you he's a rhythm fighter. He likes to fight in the rhythm. And you see nice the combinations as he's bouncing. Boom, boom, boom. Follow him out. Why not? Nice uppercut there with the right hand from Inoue, but Maloney takes it well. There it is. Once again, the attack. Right hand, left hand from Naoya Inoue, who's starting to find a groove here. He's yeah, that first step of Inouye is a lot for Maloney to process right now. He's thinking, trying to figure out what his next move is. Then he gets hit with a 1-2. That's very discouraging. One thing that I forgot to mention early on is, is look at the calves on Inouye. That's where all the power is generated from. The ground up. From the legs up. Manny Pacquiao, Prince Nassim Hamed, mm -hmm. Samanso Jaturong. A lot of great fighters who had that power going from the bottom up. Oh, beautiful double uppercut from Naoya Inoue. 
nice right there from Jason Maloney on the inside. Using his strength and he gets clipped by a left hook from Naoya Inoue. The stalking prowess of Naoya Inoue. Now what Inoue is doing is he's sunning him right now. He's walking him down. He's putting a high guard up. He doesn't feel threatened by any punches coming from Maloney. And now he's just attacking. He's Some, trying to get him up out of there. Something we wanted to watch out for was the inflammation under the right eye after the broken orbital bone. So far it's held up. And now Maloney's got to watch out for those quick right uppercuts. The power, the speed, the timing, the explosiveness of Inouye is making Maloney forget his game plan. He forgot what he came here to do. Ooh, that uppercut from now in a way switches up and now you see the legs of Maloney a little wobbly as he continues with the attack big right hand from that right hand hurt him right there a short right hand hurt him Bernardo there's another short right hand from Naoya Inoue look at the vision and that tunnel vision from Naoya Inoue seeing a fighter that may be hurt and he's looking for that big shot here as Maloney drops his hands oh big left to the body Jake, you've got to just stay disciplined inside. You've got to be a bit tougher. Well, this was a part of my essentials back at the right uppercut for Inouye. As you can see, Maloney trying to dip outside to get a body shot in, leaving his hair directly in the middle and getting caught with an uppercut. Inouye's been special when he leads, and he's been special when he counters like this. Maloney throws the right, he blocks, opens him up, and then hits him with a just an explosive left hook. That gets Maloney's attention and it causes him to stay in the shell and not want to open up because he gets disciplined every time. Jason Maloney showing heart, showing a great chin here in his world title opportunity that for the Bantamweight World Championship, the WBA, IBF, and Ring Magazine version. He's only been down once against Danilo Gabasai, and that was a right hand in August of 2015. This is his second world title opportunity, and in a way, He's just getting into a rhythm, finding Maloney a lot easier than before. Bernardo, I, I have to say, this is this is real. <laughs> Inoue is real. I have my doubts. I don't have my doubts anymore. This guy is real. Watching it in person, how explosive every shot is, how the speed on his punches, and the power to go along with it, and the pressure he's putting on Maloney right now. Maloney is a good fighter. He's a good quality fighter. And he's making him look ordinary. Oh, nice counter to the body from Naoya Inoue as Maloney was looking for a big overhand right. And there's a right hand counter once again from Inoue as he now he digs to the body. And down goes that right elbow of Maloney. Nice stick jab from Maloney, though. Andrew Maloney, who knows his brother as well as anyone, says he has to punch sharper, not harder just stay behind the jab and punch sharper that's a hard thing to do when you got a guy who's sticking you with power he's been it, see he's being out muscle i mean that power and that speed and the physicality of in a way is just too much Inoue, maloney at this point has to sell out and what i mean is he's got to risk getting knocked out to build up some points and to try to hurt in a way to get some respect and to get himself back in this fight because if he, if, he, if he just sits on the outside like this, in a way he's controlling every aspect of the game. I don't care if he's on the outside, mid-range, inside. It doesn't matter. He's controlling this fight. He's leading. He's countering. He's outspeeding, outquicking, and, and ha he has more power than Maloney. How are you going to deal with that if you don't open up and try to get some respect? Oh, nice combination earlier by Maloney, but there's always an answer from Naoya. Anyway, nice right hand from Inoue. It reminds me of... When you're playing golf and you play with a big hitter who's got the driver and he's got it going, and then you try to overdo yours and you hit it all over the place. <laughs> yeah. it's, you have to stay within yourself, and that's hard for Maloney to do tonight. Well, he, he's shocked. He's shocked by what he's in there with right now. He's a tough kid. He, he, he's going to try to fight it out as long as he can, but he's dealing with something that he's never nice. been in the ring with. Nice. Oh, nice body shot from Inoue, but Maloney found that bad habit, the lack of head movement that you talked about, Tim, from Inoue. Lack of head movement, leaves his head on the line often. You know, he gets a little enamored with this punching power. He just wants to admire his work at times, and Maloney is finding home for his right hand occasionally. And there you see the finishing shots from Naoya Inoue as round four comes to a conclusion. Let's go. 
solid instructions from his father, Shinjo Inoue. Round five of a scheduled 12-round world title shot for the Unified Bantam World Championship. Alongside Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward, I'm Bernardo Osuna. And we talked about the opening. I had watched Inoue live, and I said, you're going to see and feel something different when you see him live. Well, it's special. You know, there's no perfect fighter. There's always going to be mistakes the fighter makes. But the question is, can the opponent do anything about it? Or if they're going to have the courage to try to risk do, doing anything about it. So, in a way, is everything that people say that he is, and the scary part is he's still getting better. He right at the start of his prime right now at 27 years old. <laughs> that quickness of Naoya Inoue, who's 19 and 0 with 16 knockouts. But here comes Jason Maloney, who said, if I can get him backing up and crouching and covering up, that's my opportunity. But that's where he needs to be. He needs to be in the inside, inside the trenches. He, but he needs to be careful because any in a way would set him up with a counter. He'll look to punch in between his shots. You gotta respect what Maloney's trying to do right now. We've said this whole fight that that's what he has to do if he's gonna get into this fight. But the problem is he soaked up a lot of punishment over the first four rounds. That punishment is sitting on him. So when he does try to open up, he's not gonna have the energy that he wants to have because he's been get hit with hellacious body shots and head shots for the first four rounds. Anyway, he's got the power advantage, the quickness advantage, and a two and a half inch reach advantage, which we saw just moments ago as his jab got to its destination before Maloney was, and that three piece from the monster. I got to tell you guys something. I've I've, I've tried on a, oh. a massive amount of gloves in my career, and I have to say that the winning gloves, these are the type of gloves that you know Mayweather would use to protect his hands. Mm -hmm. They're soft. They have cushion, a massive amount of cushion. Whereas you have, you get a Reyes glove, we have the horse hair on him. In a way, it's wearing winning gloves that are heavily padded and hitting that hard. That tells me a lot about his punching power. I mean, he's had issues with his hands before. Sometimes it's the curse of a power puncher. You hit so hard that your hands become brittle. Yeah, but if he had a Reyes glove on, oh, yeah, thank devastation. You. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes oh, oh, big right hand there from Inouye, and Maloney takes it, and he takes two steps back, and here comes the monster. That's, that's a lot to deal with, fellas. That right hand, and the way that he got that off, that, that landed like a rocket. He shot that off like a rocket. That's a lot to deal with. Quick, precise, powerful. We're not just talking about that right hand. We're talking about the whole package when we're talking about Naoya Inouye. But here's Maloney. What a heart here as we reach... What should be the culmination of this fifth round? Big right hand, the best punch of that fifth round for Naoya Inoue. Man, you look at that, just a quick little turn of the shoulder, half second, and you get hit with not just a quick shot, but a powerful shot like that. Trust me, that shot not only buzzed Maloney, but it hurt him. It's timing. He thought, he thought Maloney was going to throw a shot. Maloney never threw the shot, so he beat Maloney to the punch with a beautiful shot. Five rounds in the book here inside the bubble at the MGM Grand alongside Tim Bradley and Andre Ward. And here is your scorecard, Dre. Yeah, it's a complete shutout. Uh, I don't think there's any, you know, questions about that. Um, you know, in a ways, you know, dominating this fight. He's put on a great performance. He's doing everything that... He said he would do and that people expected him to do. Good body shot right there from Inouye. I, if I could, if you could hear the thoughts that oh, shot right there. Down goes Maloney on a quick counter. Four, five, six. Inouye's a good finisher seven, too. Eight, okay, okay, come to me. Gloves. 16 gloves. knockouts and 19 victories for Naoya Inouye. He comes out firing with that big left hook. And he smells blood. He may be the monster, but tonight he's a shark going after his prey in Jason Maloney from down under. Big right hand once again from Naoya Inoue. And Maloney has no choice but to tie up. There's a big left from Naoya Inoue. He follows it up with the right hand. And just the demeanor of Jason Maloney is continuing to change as Inoue finds that confidence level and that range. Body language in a boxing ring tells a story. And 
in a way's body language is screaming that he's in control and Maloney is in survival mode right now trying to weather this storm from that knockdown. There's another left hook, an uppercut from Naoya Inoue who's finding every oh shot in his repertoire to punish Maloney with. Supreme focus from Naoya Inoue. As Maloney gets caught with another left hook as he leads his jab out there. You can feel the power, you can hear the thuds when Inoue lands a shot. And he hasn't landed cleanly yet, except for that big shot early in the round. But he lands cleanly there with that right. It's a lot to deal with. Oh, these are big heavy shots coming, coming in on Maloney. You know, if, if I'm in his corner right now, you know, if he doesn't give me a, a better round, the next round, I'll probably end up stopping his match. I mean, he's taking a beating, and I want to save him for the rest of his career. Well, you got to do the math. How many rounds has he won? Does he have the power to stop in a way? And, and where is he at? What type of fight is he fighting? He's not fighting a fight where he's just missing big shots that could possibly knock in a way out. He's in survival mode, but he's taking a massive amount of punishment in the meantime. Yes, he is. That uh, inflammation over the, le the left eye of Jason Maloney as we are now at the halfway point of the fight. See how he got to sit in position to throw this mm. left hook. Maloney came in with a double jab. You know, we're taught to, you know, step in behind with the double jab. And if you don't do it from the right distance, well, you get set up with shots like this. Beautiful left hook right in between. Nice step back, a half a step back by Inoue. Nice check hook right there from him. A lot to deal with, fellas. Power, speed, quickness, timing, the whole nine. I mean, you know, the only shot... My job is to make sure that you're safe. Yeah. Show me something. That's good refereeing. Yes, it is. You know, you, you have big concern when you see a fighter taking big shots over and over and over like Maloney is. Let's not forget that Jason Maloney's brother, Andrew, who will be fighting in a rematch against Joshua Franco, ended up at the hospital and losing his world title here in the bubble a week before Maloney got his win against Leonardo Baez. So the twins have been through a lot together. And more importantly is he doesn't want to end up at the hospital tonight at the hands of Naoya anyway. And Tim, I, I love what you said again in that last round. You know, some may say, well, hey, Maloney's still in the fight. Don't look to stop it, but you got to do the math. Put all the e equation together. Yes. He doesn't really, he can hurt in a way if he lands the right shot, but he's not throwing with that kind of conviction right now because he doesn't want to get caught with a shot. In a way, he's not slowing down. And in a way, he's also not a guy that you drag him into deep water and he can't show up. He showed us in his last fight against Anito Denier that he can not only dish it out, but he also can take it. Nice. Tall order for Maloney. Nice right hand there from Jason. We're listening to his twin brother, Andrew Maloney, in the corner. Yes, beautiful. Good, Chase. Oh, nice uppercut from Inoue. Just a little lean with the jab from Maloney. Long distance, Chase. Come on, one go. That's all it takes. Sports about inches, centimeters. Good job keeping it metric and. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Tim. You are quite the academic. Thank you, sir. I try. Oh, look at that defense from Inoue. No, Inoue's taking this round off, honestly. He's looking to play counterpunch oh. with Maloney. Well, he took the first two minutes off, but here comes the onslaught of Inoue following a triple jab. It's not just the hands of Inoue, it's the feet. When a fighter can close the distance on you in a half a second and he's all he's up on you quicker than you could even imagine, that's unnerving for a fighter. It's tough to deal with. Look at that. Every time the hands leave Baloney's face, there's always a counter coming back from anyway. Unreal. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't hold, don't hold. Where go? There's that stick from Naoya Inoue. 
as round seven. Oh, oh. the big right hand from Naoya Inouye. Maloney is down and hurt. over. It is over. Naoya the Monster Inoue on Halloween night knocks out Jason Mayhem Maloney, proving that he does belong at the top of that pound for pound list. The Monster's number three right now, but the next vote, we'll see where he ends up because tonight he looked impressive. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Wow, wow, wow. Everybody at 118, 122. Y'all better take a look at your straps right now because I'm telling you, in a way, it's coming. The monster is coming. <laughs> he is coming. No, he's something special. He really, he truly is. Um, kind of remind me of, of, of Manny Pacquiao. He really does. Fast hey. twitch muscles, but, but right-hander, of course. Fast twitch, twitchy type of muscles, you know, punching power, uh, speed, accuracy footwork that closing speed you know he does a lot of great things in there and he's a smart fighter i mean you're the only one that's been in there with manny pacquiao here you. so if you say that there must be a reason so let's take a look at how this fight ended just in the waning moments of this seventh round